Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Travis Dykes. On today's episode of Teach Me That, we're gonna be learning a highly sought after lesson that I've been from so many people, which is how to play the blues scale. We're gonna learn what it is and how we can apply it to our playing easily. If you don't know why, 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 why should I learn the blue scale? Honestly, all it is is that you get that soulful, churchy sound, especially if you're playing gospel music. You wanna know the blue scale so you can get this really, really kind of cool, churchy sound that just kind of hits you right here. You know what I'm saying? So if you want any of the loops, tracks, or taps for this lesson, for most of all my lessons on YouTube, feel free to go check out my Patreon, which is linked in the description below. So without further ado, why don't you grab your bass and we'll jump into the lesson. So first question we have to ask ourselves is what is the blue scale? Blue scale could be seem like it's something completely different, something I don't know, something that's ah, super confusing, but all it is is the pentatonic scale with the blue note, what we call the blues note, because literally all it is is the pentatonic scale with just one extra note. And also, if you haven't already checked out my how to master the pentatonic scale lesson video, how to become a pentatonic scale master video, feel free to check it out here. And I'll also have it linked in the description below. So if you if you don't already know some of the techniques and like little things that I went through on that, you need to make sure you have that before coming to this one because it's gonna really, really help you understand this a lot better. This, this is just a minor pentatonic scale right here, straight up. Okay, this is literally all that's different right here. Watch this. Blue note. And just finish it out. It's just this one note right here. And so once you learn that pattern, it becomes easier to be like, oh, okay, I know my minor pentatonic scale all the way up. All I can do is add this note and let's just find the octave and see if we can find another one that's in our, in the same kind of our four finger range right here. So if we look at the octave, so up to the two by two rule, up two frets, down two strings, you find the same note. So there it is right there. So now when we play it all together, we get this. All the way through the G string. Blue note again. All right. And then we just go backwards back down it. And that is the essential part of just the regular minor blues scale. So now this is where it's gonna get a little bit more fun and a little bit more just outside of the box, the normal blue scale box that we're used to. So let's do a little refresher of the pentatonic scale positions. All it is, is if I'm playing my major, so I'm in B major, B as in boy, and I play the major pentatonic scale, and I extend it to the G string. Those are all the notes. So we got one, two, three, four, five unique notes. What happens is that you just repeat, you start at a different note. What positions are, is basically you start at a different note. Instead of starting on the first note, you start on the second note of that pattern, all right? But if you start, if I started here, if I started here, then it's like, it's, I'm not really learning my whole neck. I'm not really hearing a different, really difference in tone. So what I do is I take this, my middle finger, and I move it up here to the second note. Now, my pattern's not gonna be the same as this. It's gonna be a different pattern, but it's going to be the same notes. And what I do, and the best way of figuring this out and figuring out what notes go what, where on uh, up the neck, is you start with your first note and you play the pentatonic scale, these same five notes, one, two, three, five, and six, and then back to one, and you just play it up on one string. One, two, three, five, six, and then back to one right here. And what that allows you to do is to know where all your starting places are in your pentatonic scale. Just like we learned all of our pentatonic scale positions is we're going to now play the blues note in with this. I'm gonna play this a little fast because I don't wanna have to put a lot of time into this particular part of this video. So if you don't know your positions, definitely go check out the other video, but I'll play it really quick and if you need me to slow it down, there is in the little bar right here of your YouTube video, there's a little gear where you can control how fast it's going. 
And you could just literally slow it down and so you can see my hands a little bit slower and a little bit more clearly. So now that we know our positions, all we're gonna do now is add the blue note to each of those positions, starting with the first position in the B major scale. So watch this. So all I'm playing is one, two, flat three, three, five, six, one, two, flat three, three. And back down. And that's it. And so that, that's what it is for the first position. Now the second position will be this right here. Alright, here's the third position. Here's the fourth position. All right, now here's the fifth position or the minor blues scale. We got through that. that. I know that was a lot of like really slow kind of going through it, but I want you guys to be able to take this and be able to create with it because the key to it is learning the patterns. So now whenever you're playing this, that's the, you connect this to the pentatonic scale because what happens when you connect it, it makes it easier for you to create. So if you know your pentatonic scale, and you're just like, oh man, I don't really know how to do the blues scale. I don't know how to make anything churchy. This is how you make it churchy. So you could be playing a lick just like this. Okay, straight minor pentatonic or pentatonic scale. But now you wanna make it a little churchy, a little soulful. What you wanna do now is now you're gonna add blues, that blues note to give it that color. So now when you add that, it's, it sounds a little bit more colorful. And this is what I like to do. This is what a lot of players do to make their licks sound sick, even though they're just playing the pentatonic scale. It makes it sound like you're playing some completely different scale, which you kinda are, but the thing is, it's all derived from the pentatonic scale, which is crazy. So when you learn this all the way up the neck, it changes everything. So when you're practicing these and you're practicing how to play the, you know, the blues scale and just learning how it connects to the pentatonic scale and all this stuff, just remember that you wanna to try to put this in your playing creatively. Don't always feel like you have to just go straight up and down it. Like find ways of just doing it on the G and D string or just on the E and A string or just on one string. Because what it does, it causes you to open yourself up to more creative ideas and, and also show you that you can just put it in more than just church music. You can put it in soul, you can put it in blues, hits the name. Like, and just really try to be creative when creating with this concept. So if you guys have any questions about this, anything I covered in this video or other videos, feel free to reach out to me by DM on my Instagram at T Dykes or hit me up uh, in the comments below. Make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe to this video and hit that bell so you're notified when the newest lesson videos are uploaded. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.